Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the Trugan channel today. We're back on our transfer update and uh, there's going to be two videos one day. Uh, today obviously is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year when it is, if you if you even are watching this on New Year or whenever. I'm going to be dropping my preview as well today, West Brom versus Arsenal. I'm going to do it early because obviously at New Year and stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So obviously, starting off, say Kalazanak, uh, obviously news today that he's... Very close to leaving Arsenal to go to uh, his former club, Schalke, um, on a loan deal. Uh, mainly because Arsenal want to get his wages off that they you know, they want to they want to cut his wages because they're like I think he gets two hundred grand a week or something like that. Um, cor correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, um, and he hasn't obviously Tierney's been playing in front of him because let's face it, Tierney's a, you know, no no disrespect to Klasnak, but Tierney's a, you know, like our definitely our first choice and um. Yeah, Klasnak hasn't really hit Arsenal that well, but, you know, I remember when, under Arsenal Wenger, I thought he played well under, under Arsenal Wenger. That's when we obviously signed him from Schalke, and I thought that was probably his best season. But, um, yeah, obviously, he will be going back to his former club uh, in January, I think, and it is going to be a loan deal. Now, I was quite surprised it was a loan deal. I thought he was actually leaving for all that some cash, but it's actually going to be on loan uh, because, obviously, Arsenal just want to cut his wages off the like off their wage bill. And, um, yeah, I think it's definitely going to be, like, a loan to buy. So, when the season finishes, Schalke will probably buy him back for, I don't know, we'll probably get about £10 million for him. You know, not even that. But, um, yeah, you know what, you know, good, good good luck to him. I think, like I said, I haven't, he hasn't really hit it. Like, well, Arsenal, you know, especially this season, he's not been, not been playing much because he's been, you know, he's he's been, like, not in form that good as well. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Um do you think we should we should have kept him as a backup, say if Tierney gets injured, or should we just play Saka there, or maybe go out and get a new left back for if say if Tierney gets injured? But um, yeah, so that was quite interesting. Class actually going to be leaving. It's so going to be talking about a player coming into Arsenal, and it is a uh, the likes big uh, skipper, uh, Sabitzer, um, and now Arsenal apparently set to get him, um, and yeah, apparently Spurs want him as well. He's been on Spurs' radar for. Uh, quite a while now, but uh, Lights Finger set a, like a a price tag on him for forty five million euros. Um, is he really worth that much? And what I've seen of him, I think he is a real good player. To be quite honest, and I would definitely take him at Arsenal. But is it is that a lot for a player like him? Let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, Arsenal definitely linked with um Sabitza. and um yeah, let me know if you would take him because, you know, Eddie said that we need that creative midfielder. Do you, do you think he can give us that creative like that creative easy more that type of midfielder um he's definitely a leader because obviously he's, he's a captain of uh rb Leipzig, and i think um yeah you know i think he, he could be, I, I think he, he, he could do quite well in the premier league so all right so next up also linked with uh patson dakar of uh rb salzburg i think he's a striker and uh yeah the reason why i also link with him is because well also don't also obviously want to sell alex on the lacazette in january and they're going to try and replace him with either two elite strikers. I'm going to be talk, talking about the other one in a minute. But sign off with Patson Dakar of RB Salzburg. Um, apparently, he's meant to be a good striker. Um, let me know if you guys would take him. Is he better than Alexander Lacazette? I'm not too sure. But um, there's one who I definitely would take. Because, listen, I've, never, I've actually never, never heard of this guy before. Um, um, so, he scored 13 goals this season, which... Yes, it's in the Austrian lead. Isn't that bad for him, is it? But um, yeah, I I understand it's in the Austrian lead, and let's face it, the only good teams in Austria is like Rapid Vienna, who we played in our Europa League group, and Salzburg. So um, yeah, you know what um, I think um yeah, let me know if 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 you would take him. To be honest, I don't think I would. Um, I've never heard of this guy, and yes, his stats are good, but it's the Austrian league, and no disrespect to Austrian league, but. Come on, it's 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 it ain't great, is it? But um, yeah. The the only issue is if we do sign him, his name's Dakar. We have Dakar, Saka, Laka, and Jaka. That's perfect. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Would you take him? Apparently, I don't know if it's, I don't know how much he's gonna be. He's apparently like twenty five euros, which is that really a lot for this this dude? I don't know. Um, if if we would pay for it or is it? People are saying it's gonna be a loan deal. But um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this and. 
Pat Sundaka is linked to um Arsenal. So yeah, it's more than it. So obviously, this is a player I definitely would take at Arsenal with uh, Edward of Celtic. Um, yeah, I've seen this guy. I've watched clips of him. I think he's an a, an absolute baller, and I definitely would take him. Um, I think we we was linked with him uh, at a few. I think in the summer as well. Um, but it never got done. But yeah, if Lacazette does leave, I definitely think this guy will be the the, the good replacement. And uh, yeah, he's obviously he's he's been superb for Selwick. And um, yeah, if you ask Selwick fans, they'll probably say he's one of their they're one of their best players. And if he did leave, they'll be probably furious. Like obviously, like we took Kieran off them, they'll be like that furious, you know. So um, yeah, I definitely would take a, a, a Edward. I think um he he is a real uh, talented striker. And um, yeah, I think he could be a good replacement for Lacazette. Um, and like I said, yes, it's a Scottish league again, and yes, he's, you know, you would expect him to do that, but you know, would he do that in the Premier League? I'm not too sure, but I definitely think I would take him. Let me know what you guys think, guys. And finally, bear, bear, bear with me on this one. I really can't pronounce this guy's name, but he's Roger. I think he's he's, he's Brazilian. He plays for Roma. Roger Ibans, or something like that. I right, if if anyone knows how to pronounce his name, then let, then let me know. But like, yeah, we'll link with this guy. Uh, he's a defender, plays for Roma, and uh, apparently we we want thirty five million for him. Um, which is well, I mean, he doesn't play a lot for Roma. Um, but what I will say is um, apparently he's he's a class defender and he and he's obviously Brazilian. He came from the Brazilian leagues and they speak highly of him. So would you take him at Arsenal? To be honest, I don't think I would. Thirty five million for him as well. That is quite. That's crazy. Um, I think he is quite young though. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys would t- take him at Arsenal. Um, and do you think he he could be a good defender for us? So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, I'll see you guys uh for, in my next video. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching uh today's transfer update. Like I said, I do think I will be releasing my preview. Uh, either today, which is New Year's Eve, or I might release it on New Year's Day. Uh, either way, if you if you um do tend to like uh like these types of videos these chance updates then let me know because um i really enjoy making these and i think obviously Jan- january's you know very close now um uh well it's actually tomorrow in it so um yeah obviously i'll be covering lots of january transfers i think there's gonna be a lot more transfer up- updates because obviously january transfer window is gonna be quite busy i'm gonna be linked with so many players but yeah thank you guys for watching and uh yeah i'll see you guys uh for my preview and then obviously player ratings for the West Brom match, and hopefully we can actually get winning that. And um, yeah, let me know if you would take any of them at Arsenal. Um, I know I would definitely take a ward. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.